Greetings, church family and friends. I just wanted to take a moment to hopefully provide to you a word of encouragement. You know, here in South Dakota, we just had the governor come out and release her plan to get things back to normal. And there have been many across the nation talking about how are we going to reopen and how are things going to happen moving forward concerning hopefully returning to some sort of normalcy. And while we might not ever return to exactly like the way things were before, there will probably be a new normal. While we're doing that, we do need, as a Christian people, we need to reflect on how is God really leading us during this time? And how are we making decisions in a way that glorify Him? So that in no matter what we're doing in the decisions that are made, how can they be done in a way that reflect that we bear the light of Christ and also that we serve a glorious and a holy God. In Proverbs chapter 19, verses 21, it says that many are the plans of a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. So in the decisions that we're going to be making as individuals and as organizations and as communities, are our plans in alignment with God's plan? No matter what plans we have in our heart, God's purpose is the one that prevails. So it's important for us to align ourselves with God's will so that our decisions are His and that they are good. So how do we be people who make decisions that reflect the glory of God in our lives? I think first and continually we need to be a people who are in prayer. And we need to pray that God gives us His wisdom for our decisions. In James chapter 1, verse 5, it says that if any of us lack wisdom, then we should ask God who gives generously and without fault. That God gives us wisdom to make our decisions, and we need to be asking God for his wisdom to make those decisions. And then in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says that we are to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That we're not seeking what we want, but rather we're seeking, God, what do you want? What is your will? What can be done for your kingdom and for your righteousness? When we are going to God for guidance and to make decisions, when we do those things, are we telling God how we want it? Or are we asking God to reveal to us his plan? Are we seeking his wisdom or the world's wisdom? Are we seeking his righteousness or are we seeking the ways of the world? Trust in the Lord, my friends. Trust in Him. Find wisdom in Him. Be led by Him and lean not on your own understanding. Do so in prayer. And I think that's the first and continually what we need to do is be in prayer. And then second, we need to gather as much information as possible when we're making a decision. Because our decisions ultimately aren't just for us. Our decisions are a reflection of our faith in God. And our decisions... They affect other people. So gather facts from multiple sources and don't make assumptions as you are seeking to make your decision. Take the time to get things right. Take the time to really discern, is what this information telling me true? And is it in alignment with God's word and his will? In Proverbs 12, verse 15, it says, The way of the fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to advice. Be listening to others, seeking the counsel and guidance of others, especially those that you know are trusted people in your community, in your church, and maybe a good friend in your life. And listen to them, even if their viewpoint challenges your own. In Proverbs chapter 27, verse 6, it says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but profuse are the kisses of an enemy. Listen to those trusted people in your life, even if their viewpoint is different than your own. You can still trust them because you know where their heart is at. So when you're gathering information to help make a decision, be sure, am I gathering information from things that not only I'm in agreement with, but also are they challenging my perspective? And I have two recommendations concerning that. Don't get stuck in an echo chamber of your opinions that lead you astray from truth, but do check everything against God's word. Is it in alignment with scripture? Does it go against it in some way? Choose, my friends, what is in alignment with God's word, and every time your decisions will be led by the Lord. 
And then third, if we're continually in prayer, if we have done our research, if we have uh, tried to find different perspectives other than our own and see how they line up against God's word and the decision we're going to be making, then third, we need to act in a way that glorifies God. When you feel that you have prayerfully considered a decision, that you've spent time considering the facts and perspectives, then hopefully you feel like God is leading you to act in some way. And at this point, when you feel like you're ready to act, you need to consider Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 and 24. Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. God desires that we make our decisions in a way that honors and glorifies Him that we act in a way that's not for man, but for God. And if we are acting in a way that is for God, it will be of benefit to man. It will be of benefit to your neighbor, to your family, and to your community. God waits for us to come to us asking for wisdom, and he gives to us generously. So when it comes to making the decisions that you and your communities will be making in the next few days and months, how are you making those decisions? Let's be sure we are acting in a way that is surrounded in prayer, it's well thought out, and it's done to glorify God. When we take time to do that, we will know that we will be on the right path. Church family, it's been a joy to be with you today. If you have any prayer requests or if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Drop a comment or send a message. But I hope that today and every day you are following the Lord's leading and that he is leading you to blessing. Go in peace.